In today's video, we'll take a look at how we can make existing ARM object model WVD workspaces that have been created outside of the Nerdio Manager visible and manageable inside of the Nerdio Manager for WVD. This process is called assigning a workspace, and assigning a workspace makes it visible and manageable through the Nerdio Manager interface. So you can see here I'm on my workspaces tab and I only have one workspace visible. Uh, and if I go into the workspaces um, Azure portal section, I also see that only one workspace is visible. So let's go ahead and add a workspace in the Azure portal. I'm going to do that in my uh, demo resource group. I will call it workspace test one and click review and create. create okay this is going to create the workspace uh, and while that's being created one thing to point out is that in order for nerdia manager to discover any existing workspaces the resource group within which those workspaces reside must be linked inside of the nerdia manager so if we go to the settings page and we look at linked resource groups, we must see the resource group within which that workspace resides. If it's not there, then what we have to do is click link, select the resource group from the list and click OK. That is going to use the currently logged in user context to assign the Nerdia Manager application as a contributor to that resource group. So it can actually see and make changes to the contents of the, that resource group. In our case, we created our new workspace in the NMW demo group, which is already listed here. So what we would expect if we go to our workspaces page and we refresh this page is that now it's possible to see that workspace. Now, what you see is that it's not listed here, but what you'll notice is that there's a little configuration gear up in, on the upper right of that screen. And if we click on that gear, we have the option to display unassigned workspaces. So right now the default filter is set to hide unassigned workspaces, but if we click that to turn off, we will now see the newly created workspace test that's here. You can see that it's not manageable. We cannot see inside of it. We don't know what the usage looks like or what type of host pools and hosts are inside. And there is a little exclamation point letting us know that this is not an assigned or manageable workspace. And the only action we have is this assign button. When we click on assign and click OK, that tells the Nerdia manager for WVD application that this workspace is now to be used and managed through the Nerdia manager. And there it is, it has come up. And now we can click on it and we have full management capabilities. We can add host pools and we can do everything that we can do with a regular workspace inside of the Nerdia manager. Once we're done with this workspace, we are simply going to go ahead and delete it. So let's go ahead and delete that workspace and click OK. And once we do that, it's going to disappear from our view. So this is how you can discover, import, and assign existing workspaces that have been created outside of the Nerdio Manager. Just don't forget to link the resource groups on the settings page and click on the little gear to display those workspaces on this page. See you in the next video.